So just a word about bracing. Some of you might be very familiar with this. If, if you have kids who have been counseled about bracing or maybe already wearing braces, and there's many different kinds of braces on the market. And what you get recommended is often based on the familiarity of the, the doctors prescribing it and where you live. But in general, it's a, it's a customized external orthosis. So it presses on the rib cage and presses on the hips. It's worn under the clothes and the scoliosis curve should look better when it's in the brace. And the main goal is to prevent surgery. The secondary goal is to maybe prevent any progression at all. And then in some patients, we get, we get lucky. And if you have just the right amount of correction in the brace and just the amount of growth remaining, we can actually make the curve a little bit smaller. And in order to work, it has to be worn for a long period of time. That means a long period of time every day. And that means basically throughout the period of rapid growth around adolescence. And our understanding about how much to wear the brace and when brace wear where is important comes from a lot of background research, but clearly the most important influential paper about this was a page of paper published by Stuart Weinstein in the New England Journal of Medicine. And this was a high quality randomized controlled trial where they randomized kids with scoliosis to either wearing a brace or not wearing a brace. And they found that patients who were randomized to wear a brace had a much, much higher chance of avoiding surgery. And it was so great, the difference, that the National Institutes of, of Health actually stopped the trial before it was completed because they felt it was unethical to continue because the benefits of bracing were so overwhelming. And then one of the secondary things that they found in this paper was that they tracked the amount of time that kids wore the brace. And they found that when, when kids were, were noted to wear a brace more hours per day, they had an increasing chance of success. There was a, a nice direct relationship that more hours in the brace increase your chance of success. So that affects how we counsel patients.